Hey everyone, what's up? Welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy. So, in my time between streams, I did some quests, um, some random ones. Um, I leveled up a couple times. Uh, I also basically did all of the uh, stuff for these two quests so I can just get those uh, spells now. Um, we're going to do all these things. Probably do this one first. Because we can get Imperio. Um, yeah. So yeah, let's go get this quest done. Resource indeed, your field guide. Mm. I'm most pleased to be included. No one likes you. Man. So frustrating. What? Wait, what? Um. Uh. This isn't who I'm supposed to be doing. Yeah, this is the one I'm supposed to be doing. That's another quest. Apparently there's another quest there, too. Jeez, there's so many quests. Look! Oh, it's you! Just the person I need. Talk to you later. Perhaps a hybrid. Bouncing. I finished the activities you signed me, Professor Garlic. Wonderful. I hope you gained a greater appreciation for the flora in our lives. I am forever enraptured by it. Just yesterday, I spent hours pruning my self-fertilizing shrubs and flutterby bushes. Didn't realize how long I'd been at it until the sun began to set. Well, if there's one thing I love to see more than my plants thriving, it's one of my students doing the same. Now, ready to learn flippendo? Chin up, keep a light grip, and it's all in the wrist. Let's see you give it a go. Nah. You will want to focus with this spell. Nothing as mortifying as knocking back a colleague when all you wanted to do was move a few parts. Wonderfully done! If you'd like to practice a bit more, you're welcome to do We will try it. Um in the greenhouse. Just look at that. You're a little troll. Huh. Let's do the next one. Uh, this one. Oh, that's right. Okay. There we go. Welcome back. Have you finished your assignments? Yes, yes, I Reporting have. Reporting back, Professor. Assignments all finished. Well done. Shows good discipline. Wisdom is a golden snitch, as they say. And you're proving a skilled seeker in that regard. Let us practice our restore momentum. A charm, incidentally, created to stop quaffles from plummeting straight to the ground during a Quidditch match. Huh. Precise, deliberate movements. Yeah, it's just an M. Uh, yeah. Very good. 
I recommend practicing your new spell as much as possible. Where is it? Let's try that. Perhaps before you leave here. Arrest him, arrest him. That's it. Keep it up. Cool. Now I can stop things. Well, what do you want now? Hello, Samantha. Are you here for Summoner's Court? I am. I'm actually rather good at it. Used to play all the time with my brother until. Oh, never mind. Shall we begin? Sure, yes, we can play a little I'm ready game. To play. Then let's get summoning. This game is so easy. Wait, what, what are these ripples? Yeah, I have Accio. Oh, so it's like gravity pulls it in. Dang it. You'll have to do better than that. Akio. Yes. <laughs> oh, come on. You'll have to do better than that. Shut up. Akio. Yeah, I'm gonna lose no matter what. Yes! <laughs> that was sensational. Big How about that? I won. Shut up. Good match. Care to have another go? Yes. But of course. Splendid. Now that I know how we freaking do this. <laughs> what was I thinking? No, no, stay. Ah, oh, dang it. You'll have to do better than that. Shut up, you have the same thing. Yes! <laughs> How am I to top that? Another go? Yes. I, I'm I am splendid. beating. I am winning. I don't care. I will win. Yes! <laughs> oh, how am I 
to top that. Oh, I didn't even realize I got it on the 50 line. Yes! <laughs> All I have to do is just. There. That settles it then. <laughs> yeah, I won. After your poor show against Natty in class, I thought I could beat you. It appears I overestimated myself. You played well. Don't say that, Samantha. You're a fine player. Well, that's very kind of you. Let's just say if I'm good, then you're better. I happen to know who you're up against next, and she's no shy opponent. Best of luck. Okay. We are going to... Next quest we're going to do... Sebastian. Oh jeez, that's all the way over there. Uh, I guess the closest place I have is Feldcroft. It's like a place right out of a storybook. And then, you know what? Let's use the Thestral. Time for a jaunt, I'd say. Let's go. I don't think it's as fast as a broom. Doing here, this patrol is worthless. Jeez, a lot of enemies. What do you have in store for me this time? Mysterious and a bit unsettling. You're here. Good. Sebastian, that relic you mentioned. I believe one of Slytherin's students stumbled upon the relic during an assignment to study sarcophagi in this catacomb. From what I read in a report by the student, they weren't permitted to take it with them. So I must assume it's still here. As I mentioned earlier, this relic grants its holder the power to reverse dark magic curses. If it's in this catacomb, I have to find it. For Anne. I need to see her. Uh... I'd be interested to know what else the student discovered. Have a look. Unfortunately, there's no name on it. But I suspect if it was important enough for Slytherin to stash in his spellbook, it's worthy of further study. I'm ready to explore the catacomb. Perhaps we can visit Anne when we've finished. Perfect. By the way, Ominous has been asking about you. You didn't tell him what we were doing, did you? I didn't, I promise. Good. Ominous would be livid if he knew what we were about to do. Hmm. Uh. Uh. Oh, wait, ancestors. Oh. Uh. Mm. I'll be interested to compare what lies inside to what I've read about this catacomb. Catacomb, it's catacomb. I'm sure that foul smell is the scent of success. Try not to lose your nerve just yet. Or it's a bunch of uh, in theory. I don't know, it's spiders. At least now we know we're not alone in here. Perhaps that was it. And the rest of the are set free. Spiders aren't insects. Don't start. <laughs> Spiders aren't insects. 
We're here for a reason. I'd say opening them all is justified. Well, this is to get up here. This room is taller than it looks. Um, up here we go. Finding a chest in an inconspicuous loft. Brilliant. Oh, look, little spiders. They want nothing to do with us. That's the direction we're supposed to go. Now this is the sort of great room I want to be buried in. Surrounded by grandeur. Grandeur and then some. Even an altar with a pile of bones. Lovely. Bones outside a sarcophagus. Seems odd. Okay, never mind. This is the treasure room. Just like that. Okay, back to the objective. Ah, oh, more bones. Rattle me bones! Okay. More bones. Revelio. There's something here by the altar. Bombarda. Hold on. Scabby something. Made it this far, here. But clearly we have more to do. What's around this way? Whoa. Okay, I think I have to do this first.
Two barricades. Oh. What did you find? Looks like part of a student's diary. It mentions plans to return for the relic and conjuring barricades using bones. Of course. The student's summary referenced the space beyond the Great Room. Which means this can't be a dead end. Let's divide and conquer. You work on sorting out the bone barricades. I'll look around and see what we missed. Hold on to that diary entry. There may be more to it. It does mention something else. It says their next assignment was learning the Imperious Curse. Really? Interesting. We need to focus on moving beyond this room. But let me think for a moment. Do you think the pages were left here on purpose? Slytherin mentioned a student who excelled in charms and always carried a satchel stuffed full of notes. They might have been left on purpose, or the student may have simply dropped them. Of course. I'll start to search for those barricades. Brilliant. There's more to this than even I imagined. Look, bones stacked oddly on either side of this archway. Hmm. Leave no stone unturned. Or, in this case, no bone. This archway has been barricaded. We can find a way through. Like that. I'm guessing the last set is in the other area. You've done it. I know what is then what's through in here. My bones. Nice. Because I thought this was gonna be where we need to go. I guess not. Find a safe way across. We need um let's do it here. Lumos. Oh I must mean there's probably one over here somewhere. Yep. Dang it, I fell off.
Get over there. Well, that somehow worked. Complete. Where the heck does this lead? Oh, it just goes around to here. That collection thing. Wow. Hey, Sebastian. Before we trudge on further, I've just realized something. The student's diary mentions the Imperious Curse. I wouldn't be surprised if we're going to need it here. It's an unforgivable, but useful when you're outnumbered. Places the victim completely under the caster's control. So, if you'd like to learn Imperio, I can teach you. Um... Well, it's probably wise to know the spell. I couldn't agree more. A spell that could save your life shouldn't be unforgivable. You have a lot at stake. You have an ability that evidently no one's seen for centuries. Focus your wand movement. It's not an easy spell to master. Oh, jeez. It's like... A weird four. There we go. Something troubling ahead. Be on your guard. We are going to assign that down here, I think. Instead of Expelliarmus. <laughs> oh, this room's full of spiders. What's in another here? barricade? Considering how well you did on the last one, this should be a cinch. Okay, that's where how we need to go. I try. Incendio. Go. Oh. 
Oh, okay. Dang, there's stuff all over this place. Oh, wait. We need to pull the handles in the order Rebellion. of the symbols on the tablets. Uh, we're not even over there, dude. This catacomb has suffered decay, just as the student summary described. I doubt anyone's been here in quite some time. There we go. Now we go explore the other chamber. Oh wait, there's no way through there, okay. Oh, okay. Uh, we need the Treyarch and that is literally just the avatar air symbol. Perhaps we need to pull the handles in the order of the symbols on the tablets. That worked. Keep going. So let's do that and the weird Tetris piece. Where's the weird Tetris piece? Rattle me bones! That one is Treyarch and a uh, circle. Wait, where's the circle one? Oh, there it is. Didn't even need to open it up in the exact order. One more? Oh. Tetris and Circle. There we go. You are head and shoulders above these bones. Nicely done. That's a th no. I see why Slytherin's student was so entranced with this place. Oh great, lots of spiders. Oh, great.
end. Jeez. Just a skull. Dead end. Avelia. Lovely. All that for nothing. Hold on. Don't give up yet. rendition of the relic it matches this must be where the student left the relic i can't believe it after all this it lines up we've really found it what do you suppose is meant by the dark sacrifice required to realize the relic's potential i have no idea but we're here for the relic um it's probably not good the note advises to leave the relic alone i assure you we were meant to find this for Anne's sake, I'm taking it. Let's get to Feldcroft. Um... I must keep this relic secret. Especially from my uncle. Sebastian, I think Rebellion. it takes the health of one. Oh, and who is that? Is that ominous? Is that ominous? Ominous. The sounds we kept hearing. It was you. You gave me no choice. I had to follow you. Sebastian, please, leave the relic alone. We can find another way to help Anne. I'm sorry, Ominous, but I'm taking it. No, you're not. If you won't put it back, then I will. Hold on, both of you. Sebastian, please, take a step back. Fine, but Ominous knows I won't step back from a fight. Can't believe this. How much did you hear? Everything. I was glad to hear you tell Sebastian to leave the relic. We need to stand together. Convince Sebastian this is wrong. And if nothing will change his mind? Something has to. I need your help. You're right. This seems far riskier than Sebastian realizes. Good. We're agreed. We don't allow him to leave here with the relic. I do think we should talk to him. But I fear we won't stop him from taking the relic. What are you suggesting? I'm suggesting we negotiate. We allow Sebastian to leave with the relic under one condition. After this, no more. I feel that's what we agreed to in the scriptorium. I'm being taken for a fool. You're not, Ominous. This may be the only way to keep your friendship intact. Let's trust him to know what's best. Fine. If I trust him on this, I'm trusting you too. The dark arts seem harmless until it's too late. Go then. Leave with the relic. I'll not say a word more. I hope I don't regret this. Sebastian! We're ready. What is it? I haven't changed my mind. Ominous has. Let's go. What? Ominous? I'll explain on the way. Come on. Come on, man. Uh, this way. Well, what happened back there? Ominous and I found a compromise. Ominous simply needs a moment with you and he'll change his mind. Is that it? I told him we ought to give you this chance, that the relic is too important to ignore. There has to be more to it than that. Tell me. We agreed on what was needed, Sebastian. You have my word. never wanted to keep all this from Ominous. He just doesn't understand. And I didn't want to worry him all over again. Bombard Bong. 
and out we go. I'm pretty sure this thing's leaving. Ominous wouldn't even acknowledge me. That's not like him. He was troubled, Sebastian. Even though we agreed to it all, it's been a lot to take in. I thought he understood. He knew we couldn't give up. All of this is too important for Anne. the world of another spider. I shall sleep better tonight. So I guess we're just walking. <laughs> when we get to Feldcroft, I'd rather Anne not know what had to be done to get this relic. She thinks like ominous. It did only upset her. Um, why is there lots of smoke? Oh no, this isn't good. What is it? Smoke, over there, by the hamlet. Velkov's in trouble. They're under attack. Let's hurry. System. With an unforgivable curse. From that damned book, no doubt. Your father would be ashamed. You've gone too far, Sebastian. Stay away from her. From all of us. Uh, 
What did my uncle expect me to do? The Imperious Curse saved Anne's life. That goblin was going to kill her. Hmm. You did what you had to do. If I have to keep proving that to my uncle, I will. He cannot banish me from my own home. From my sister. It might be best to let him calm down a while. May I speak to him? Perhaps I can help to ease the tension a bit. You may be right. Very well. Probably best if I get away from here for a while. I'll head back to Hogwarts. Uh... Oh, there's a page here. Cool. What was he thinking? Pardon me, Mr. Fellow. What Sebastian did was inexcusable. You cannot possibly be about to defend him. Sebastian and I have encountered Ranrock's loyalists before. That goblin would have killed Anne. This family does not resort to using dark magic, even against our enemies. What Sebastian did cannot be undone. That you are defending Sebastian's behavior at all tells me everything I need to know. You are as guilty as he is. Sebastian is to come nowhere near Feldcroft, nowhere near Anne. Unforgivable curses are so named for a reason. If I hear that either of you continues down this path, if either of you uses dark magic, I will notify the headmaster immediately. Go ahead. Why, Sebastian? Not like I can use it without a target anyway, so. Rebellion. Taking that. I'm also taking that. Do, 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 do. There's a chest back here somewhere. Oh yeah, under all this stuff. There we go. Oh, it's a bird. I think it's close to there. What are you up to now? Yeah, it was very close. speak with my uncle I wish I had better news about your uncle and Anne well what did he say I'm afraid he wants you nowhere near Feldcroft nor Anne I had to stop that goblin from killing my sister he had no right to banish me from my own twin <sighs> if he thinks banishing me means I'm going to give up on Anne he's sorely mistaken he also said he cannot excuse the use of dark magic in any form and that if he hears of either of us using it, he'll go straight to Professor Black. Huh? That relic, dark magic or not, is the key to saving Anne. To reverse that curse. I will not lose Anne for good. I should send the crest to Anne. She'll know that we need to meet. I'm afraid I don't follow. Nothing, just a thought. Now I'm more determined than ever to learn what power that relic has. Hmm. <sighs> What did you mean you'd send Anne a crest so that she'd know to meet you? It's... we just lost our parents, and we were packing up to go and live with Solomon. We couldn't take everything. She was carefully organizing her prized possessions, a box of artifacts she'd collected to do with our family. Jewelry, cards, old photographs. She got to her favorite, a handmade crest, and without a second thought, she handed it to me. 
This will keep you safe, she said. It holds no enchantment, but I've kept it with me since. That's how I can reach Anne. I'll get the crest to her with plans to meet. Be careful, Sebastian. Your uncle could intercept it. We'll be expelled. Even if Ominous is upset with us, he has no love lost for his family. He'd use their connections to the Headmaster if we needed his help. I shall uh, wait to hear from you then. Thank you. I very much appreciate you standing by me through all of this. I'll send you an owl when You're I have lucky. news. Okay, let's do one of these random quests. I guess, um... Let's, let's do this one. I haven't gotten any, uh, requests for learning new spells, because I think I have almost all spells learned now. So frustrating. See? Yep, all I have to do is learn Avada Kedavra. You wanted to speak with me, Mother? I had hoped to speak with you alone, Natsai. Your message mentioned your concern about an unusual creature that was spotted in the woods near Hogsmeade. That could have been anything. You know what it was, Natsai. I am allowed to leave the castle. I am always careful, Mother. Careful? Officer Singer disagrees. She sent me an owl telling me that you have been trying to collect evidence of some kind against dark wizards. She berated me for not keeping a closer eye on you. And she is right. I do not want you visiting Hogsmeade for the near future. But mother! My little gazelle, you are well-intentioned, but you must not meddle in the affairs of dangerous people. If someone had meddled in Matabilaland, father would still be with us. I must get to class. Perhaps your friend can get you to listen to reason. So frustrating. She never listens to me. She called you her little gazelle. Is that a term of endearment where you're from? It is specific to me. <sighs> I am the unusual creature in Hogsmeade she mentioned. Self-transfiguration is not taught at Hogwarts, so I am gently discouraged from practicing it. However, I am an animagus, and it is in my gazelle form that I have been able to wander the highlands rather freely until now. Much to my mother's chagrin. That is how I managed to spy on Rookwood and Harlow. Uh. Were you born an Animagus? Or did you learn to become one? Animagi are not born. The process is quite elaborate. It involves holding a mandrake leaf in one's mouth for an entire month. Then placing the leaf in a crystal phial so that it is imbued with moonlight. Then adding one of your own hairs. And that is just the beginning. Self-transfiguration is common among students at Wagadu, but Professor Weasley considers it much too dangerous to teach at Hogwarts. Dang, okay. Can you choose what form your animagus will take? Oh, no. A person's animagus form is determined by their personality. My mother is convinced that my form is a gazelle because I adapt well to any situation. I believe it is because I can sense danger and keep my wits about me. Hmm. Yeah. How does it feel to transform into an animal? Well, the first time, it can be a bit unnerving. I felt a kind of searing pain and a strong double heartbeat. But it gets easier the more you do it. I no longer feel any pain, and I must say, I find a sense of comfort in the double heartbeat. And I love being huh. able to view the world from a different perspective. Cool. Now the nickname makes sense. What an extraordinary ability to have. It is. I love transforming, but Mother is less enthusiastic about it. She says that no creature, especially one as rare as a gazelle, should be bounding about where poaching has become so prevalent. <sighs> she claims that she has foreseen tragedy befall me in my gazelle form. But she has used her sight to control me too many times. I no longer believe it. Huh. She's concerned for your safety. 
It may be best for you to stay away from Hogsmeade for now. That may be safe, but I do not believe that it would be best. Do you? You could have fled the moment you discovered that Rookwood, Harlow, and Randrock were after you, but you did not. I choose to act as you have. I must deal with Rookwood and Harlow, not hide from them. <sighs> My mother cannot know where I am all the time. Thank uh, you for being it? here during that rather awkward conversation. Is that it? We're done here? I guess that was it. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Okay, I guess we'll do another random quest. Dragon debrief. Oh, okay, we're not that far away from there. And there's some shops. I mean, not shops, uh, other quests I can pick up. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Do 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 do. Over here. There we go. This is a change of pace from our last outing. Don't remind me. The thought of that tent still makes my blood boil. I've been thinking about those poor dragons in the fighting ring. The collars they were wearing, they appeared to be goblin silver. I think a collar is precisely what we found at that poacher camp. I've never known poachers to use anything like that before. The dragon that attacked my carriage was wearing a collar. And Professor Fig was genuinely baffled by its behavior. That attack always did strike me as a little strange, seemingly coming out of nowhere. Surely you aren't suggesting that the collars somehow control the poor creatures? Exactly. Yes. Merlin, I don't think the dragon we set free was wearing a collar, but we should check. And if we can find her, we can return her egg. Yeah. That's a good idea. We need to see this through. I'll start looking into it right away. There was something else that I wanted to discuss with you. I didn't want to press it before. It seems I may have caused you more trouble with Victor Rookwood. Why is he after you? Uh. Rookwood is working with Ranrock. And Ranrock is after something I found at Gringotts. Vic had a port key that led us there after the dragon attack. It's a bit of a long story, and Fig had asked that I not speak of it yet. Goodness. Well, that certainly helps to shed light on what we saw at the tent. Don't worry, I'll guard your secret as if it were my own. I shan't press for more details. In fact, I should probably be going. I'd like to track that dragon down as soon as I can. Okay. I'll let you know when I have news quest. of her location. I'll pick up these uh, side quests while I'm at it. There was one over here, I think. Bevelio. What was it? Oh, dang, I'm going away from them. You'll see it was a mistake parting ways with me. Sir, is everything all right? How kind of you to ask. The name's Ackley Barnes. And no, it is not. I'm plotting a sort of revenge against my ex-business partner, a conniving fiend by the name of Alfred Lawley. He cut me out of our herbology supply business just as we were getting started. Hm. Said I was too volatile to work with. I'll show him volatile. Hmm. That must have been frustrating for you. Yes, yes it was. Terribly. I'm simply passionate about my work. Supercilious fool, he's passionate about things too. As I intend to remind him by relieving him of his prized possession. 
A venomous tentacular he's grown from a seedling that was to be the keystone of our business venture. I can't get anywhere near it with Ruth Singer watching me like an augury. Lawley's doing, no doubt. But no one would suspect a student. Hmm. How would you feel about committing some grand plant larceny? I mean... You said Mr. Lawley was your ex-business partner. What were you working on? I had an idea to train Venomous Tentacula. Create guard plants, if you will, that attacked when ordered. We hit a snag when one ate Lawley's kneesel. After that, he cut me out of the business, the short-sighted fiend. Uh... Why do you need Mr. Lawley's Venomous Tentacula in particular? Simple. If I have it, then Lawley doesn't. Ergo, I can launch my business, and he must start all over again. I'm killing two snidgets with one stone. Mm. What else is in Mr. Lawley's cellar? All of Lawley's herbology supplies. He has quite the collection. Fill your pockets while you're there. Or to slow him down for a bit. And I can get my business going, minus any competition. Sure, I'll do it. Why not? I'll I'm up for a heist. For you. Marvelous. I know a fellow seeker of justice when I see one. Take as many herbology supplies as you like while you're in his cellar. All I ask is that you bring me the venomous tentacula. Remember, uh, I just need that venomous tentacula. We're gonna be using that. Seems I need to find Mr. Lawley's cellar. That's not hard. This must be it. This must be the cellar. Now, to find that venomous tentacular. Better not let Mr. Lawley see me. Boom. Where is that venomous tentacular? It's behind that gate. <laughs> so many spiders. It's a wonder they haven't taken over the whole house. Ugh. Come on.
more stuff. Now that I have the Venomous Tentacular, I should return to Mr. Barnes. something up here okay we're going to sneaky time again of our Hebridean dragon friend and where to return her you know what. Meet me in the town circle in Hogsmeade. Do 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 do. You don't know I was at that dragon. Any luck retrieving a certain friend of mine from a former... Friend. Hello, Mr. Barnes. I have that venomous tentacular. <laughs> Wish I could see Lawley's face when he realizes his prized possession is gone. We'll see who's volatile now. Well done. I'll take it off your hands now. I'd like to be paid. It wasn't as easy to come by as I had expected. I'd like to be paid for my troubles. <sighs> Only fair, I suppose. I can respect your business acumen. Here's a little something for your next trip to Zonko's. Thank you again for your help. What? I suspect you have a bright future. You gave me gloves. Oh, and you holy crap, you gave me 500. Oh, there's where we're supposed to meet her. Um, we will pick this up here next time. So I hope y'all enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.